Okay, guys, so check this out. Lil Wayne stirred up some controversy while speaking to Fat Joe about the police killing of George Floyd on his Instagram live show last month. When asked about fired Minnesota police officer Derek Chauvin stepping on his neck and all of that, Wayne replied, We have to stop viewing it from such a broad view, meaning we have to stop placing the blame on the whole force and the whole everybody of a certain race, everybody with a badge, which promptly led to an onslaught of backlash. During a recent episode of Young Money Radio, Wayne once again reminded his fans a white police officer, Deputy Robert Hubler, saved his life when he was 12 years old. I, my life was saved when I was young. I was uh, like 12 or something, I think. Shot myself. I was saved by a white cop, Uncle Bob. So you have to understand from there for you have to understand the way I view police, period. I was saved by a white cop. There was a bunch of black cops jumped over me when they saw me at that door laying on the floor with that hole in my chest. He refused to. Those black cops jumped over me and ran through the crib and said, well, we found the gun, we found this, we found that. He said, I found this baby on this floor. I need to get to a hospital. He didn't wait for an ambulance. He took his car. He made somebody drive it. And he made sure that I lived. Wayne detailed the incident during his I Am Hip Hop Award acceptance speech at the BET Hip Hop Awards in 2018. There's a man in New Orleans, Wayne recalled, his name is Uncle Bob, came into an apartment one day, he busted in the door, guns drawn. He saw nobody, he saw legs on the floor, it was my legs. He saw blood everywhere. A bunch of police hopped over me, he refused to do so. I never knew. I talked to him the other day. I never knew EMS was on the scene. He said EMS tried twice and they told him there's nothing. He refused to let that die. Forget an ambulance. He brought me to the hospital himself. He refused to wait, kicked in the doors and said, do whatever you got to do to make sure this child make it. Not only that, that day Uncle Bob was a homicide detective. He was off on detail. He just heard the call and came. Not only did he refuse to sit, he refused to leave. He stayed to make sure I made it. Despite Wayne's positive interaction with Hubler, he reportedly has a CD past. According to NOLA.com, Hubler was fired from the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Department in 2012 after repeatedly tasing a Marrero, Louisiana man during an arrest. He allegedly called the victim a stupid during the confrontation. Elsewhere in the episode, Wayne touched on the militarized police in New Orleans. I'm from New Orleans, 17th Holly Grove. We have a thing called Jump Out Boys, Uptown New Orleans. That's the police. They pull up on you, they already got their door cracked. They already got the door. That's why we call them jump out boys. Because soon as they, they, you might think that's just the police car driving up the block. Nah, they about to stop. Boom. And they, they, they about, they like, it looked like you ever seen a clown car when a clown could pull up in a, a small car and like 30 of them get out the car, like 30. Cl- that's how it'd be like a one small police car pull up. But they got the door, both doors crack on both sides. Pop, soon as they stop, boom, they jump out. So many of them jump out and they ain't coming running after you to come to ask you what's your name and how you doing and how's your day. No, they're not coming and running after you for that. They don't have the door cracked for nothing. And it's not like they was run. They're not driving into a, a war or nothing. They're just driving into a neighborhood. Why they have to, Why the doors need to be cracked? I'm not sure. But that's what we grew up going through. Things like that. So when I say you want to speculate about me, consider that as well. Consider I, I've witnessed these type of things. Like this is what I've witnessed. This is what I grew up seeing and what I've Know what I mean? So, what do you guys think? Y'all still canceling Lil Wayne? Y'all think he's against black people? What do you think is his issue? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.